All right, I wanted to make a quick uh, video to debunk this entire concept of EMPs that I keep hearing about because it's driving me crazy. EMP means electromagnetic pulse. Uh, what that means is radio. EMP is radio. Um, when we're dealing with radio, we have e ele um, uh, electromagnetic waves generally or electromagnetic pulses in the case of digital media. But it's all the same. It's radio. Up in the uh, corner here, you can see a handheld device that somebody made that uh, is an EMP device. And I just want you to sit here and think about this. That's powered by probably a 9-volt battery, and that coil is probably an inch to an inch and a half long. It probably puts out thousands of volts. How much damage do you think that can do? Think about that. EMP is radio. And so... What I want to show here is how radio works, basically, and how uh, electromagnetic um, radiation works. So what we have is a, a tower with an antenna, and you can see that the antenna is surrounded by concentric circles. The concentric circles are tighter, closer together near the antenna than they are far away. And there's a reason for that. Radio exponentially becomes weaker as you move away from the transmission source. And that's how you can have a 20,000 watt FM station in your neighborhood and it doesn't do anything bad to any of your stuff. 20,000 watts. Think about that. Amateur radio operators are lucky to run 2,000 watts and that's the upper limit of what you can run. So 20,000 watt FM transmitter is in your neighborhood and it has no negative effect whatsoever on your CBs or your amateur radios or whatever. This is something that we use all the time. Okay, so 20,000 watts. Think about that. So what is, what is it that would cause a EMP powerful enough, a single pulse of electromagnetism, powerful enough to actually do damage to the infrastructure and to your CBs and your amateur radios and such if 20,000 watts doesn't do it. Well, what you're, th you're talking about here is a nuclear warhead or the sun exploded. Those are the only two circumstances under which you need to worry about your radios because any of those things that would cause an EMP that significant will incinerate you anyhow. So this nonsense about EMPs as a potential threat in preparations, spend your time preparing for actual real things that, that you can actually prevent because this is not one of them. I'm sure that there's, there are other better things that you can do um, in preparation uh, for many different kinds of events, but EMP is just a, a monster somebody made up to scare more people into buying more stuff.